Hi, and welcome to Beaver Stadium, home of the Penn State Nittany Lions, one of the largest crowds in college football assembled here. This is something rare and special. A number one versus number two early in the season. Who's going to get the inside track, the early jump on that national championship chase? As we'll see the number one team in the country, the Georgia Bulldogs, taking on the second-ranked team, the Penn State Nittany Lions. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kurt Greenstreet. Kurt, let's get to the action on the field. It's Tuggle. He's tackled at the 17, so it'd been better to leave it in the end zone for a touchback. So Georgia's offense comes on the field first today. And here he comes, the quarterback, all eyes on him. He's the guy that just makes everything go. Now, this guy's Mr. Do-It-All. It's almost odd to say this about a quarterback, but he truly does. He's the echo of the coach and the connector of this offense. When everyone is hooked up to him, this team operates at maximum capacity. And that usually means their opposition is in trouble. But great patience and acceleration to be able to pick up this first down by this back from Georgia. You think of Georgia backs, you think about Herschel Walker right away, right? Sonny Michelle, Todd Gurley, Nick Chubb, no Sean Marino. I mean, the list goes on and on of great Georgia backs. And he'll make his way out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. Just a really good ball here to be able to pick up this first down for the Georgia offense. And you know, being able to have a balanced attack is so important in modern college football. And Georgia does that as well as anybody. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Let's it fly out of the wide out. Finds a receiver in the middle of the field. They get him down, but he crosses midfield. Spot the ball to 44. It's early, but this crowd is fired up. Listen to this noise here. This is going to be tough for the visitors today. Catch made on the right side. That's a big game. They bring him down to the 25. They're moving closer and closer to the red zone. Georgia getting set with a first and 10 now. Here comes the handoff. Able to fight for a decent gain here in that running play. And the crowd coming to life here trying to help this defense down in the red zone. They look to throw it here on second down. It's a quick grab. Touchdown, Bulldogs. A strong game by this quarterback. Well, that start could not have gone any better, Kirk. Well, Chris, as you know, it's always huge for an offense's confidence to score on the opening drive. Most times, coordinators are just kind of feeling the defense out, giving them a lot of different formations, kind of see how they react. To get points on the board, man, that's a huge plus. And they'll set up with the PAT. And it's 7 0 after the BAT. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. He's going to return it from deep in the end zone. Solid coverage there. They get him at the 15. That's where the offense will take over. So Penn State's offense out there for their first possession. If there's one guy on this defensive side who can be a game wrecker, it's this elite pass rusher. Very much on the quarterback's mind today. Yeah, Chris, but it's going to be very tough. This quarterback does a nice job of moving around in the pocket. And also, he's going to have an awareness of exactly where this guy is and have a clock in his mind about how quickly that ball needs to get out. They're behind the sticks on second and long here from the 12. Snags the good throw. And they bring him down after a solid gain, but it's still well short of the first down mark. So let's see what they like here on third and short from inside their own 20. Important to pick up this first down. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. A new set of downs after that completion. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside gift. Nowhere to run. No corralling for no gain. Offense getting set. Second down play here. 
And the motion by the back now forces the defense to adjust. Back to pass. It's Allen. The throw to the running back in the flat. And the defense smothers him for no gain. Offense will try to convert a third and long on the 27. We'll see if the defense brings the blitz. Well, this is exactly what you want to see from the defense. Yeah, you give up the catch. Wow, lays out and makes a spectacular catch. Chris, when I quarterback through that football, I didn't think that play had much of a chance. And how about the effort by this wide receiver to lay out and come up with that completion? On the move, but can't find the receiver, and he's brought down. This big guy's up front will have to regroup now at second and 14. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Finds an open target on the left side. And they bring him down. That's a very solid gain, but still well short of the mark. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. Hunt over the middle. It's Wallace. Tackle inside the 40, and it's good enough for a first down. This will be the ninth play on the drive. On first down, it's play action. Quick throw over the middle. Tried to squeeze one in there, but it's incomplete. That's a misfire there, Chris. This passing game has got to be able to get into sync and find a rhythm. So go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. The 11th play of this marathon drive, but it's third and long now. And the quarterback drops back, looking for an open man. He's got a man down the middle. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. First down and 10. Play action fake, looking to throw. Makes the catch. It's cross. And they finally stop him down at the five. Solid gain on that catch and run. First and goal now. A chance to get level after allowing the opening touchdown. From the shotgun, drops back. Sacked. It's a loss. Back to the six. Well, it's a great shot by this defense coming up with a big sack there on first and goal. The offense still has their opportunities. Let's see if they can get back on track here on second and goal. Brought down at the two after the catch. The offense close to punching it in. Well, Kirk, it's Georgia on top so far. Let's check out the stats now through the opening period. They flipped ends of the field. We're ready now for the second period. An exciting start to the quarter here is the offense facing a third and goal. It's QB sneak. So a yard away from the end zone, the offense will go for it here on fourth down. Got to make it with a quarterback sneak. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. Chris, what about the mentality here from this offensive coordinator? Instead of throwing the football, they decide to get behind the offensive line, get physical with this defense, and pound it into the end zone. Kicking team out for the PAT drop. And he knocks it right through. Here's the kickoff team now, set to move this one away. Doesn't bring the kick out. Touchback. They'll start at the 25. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. They were able to punch it in the end zone last time. Looking to do the same thing here to see if the defense can make adjustments. Off the play fake on first down. Throws it to the right. And it's incomplete as he just overthrew his receiver that time. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. the play fake looking to throw the football great both one tackle but couldn't escape drop for a sack well they're going to go with a play fake here the only problem is no one on the defense bit at all on the play action the results are a big sack for this defense drops back looking to throw for it on third down grab near the sticks it's Humphreys they get him down but the game moves the ball up to the 36 so he finds one of his favorite targets Kirk defense thinking what do we have to do to stop this guy how about the double coverage on third down great call to be able to try to take away this highly touted wide receiver and the quarterback is still looking to go to his guy for the conversion and he comes through no wonder he keeps throwing the football this Georgia offense is moving quickly down the field 
send the back in motion. And looking to throw now on first down. Grab behind the line. It's Robinson. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? The shotgun handoff here. Defense stops him, but that's a solid gain. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. Crucial third down play right here. He'll try to run for the first down. It's a good effort on the run, but the defense stops him just short of the marker. Fourth down now. And the Bulldogs will come to the line on fourth down, hoping to keep this drive going. Here we go. Fourth down. They'll try to run for it. Tackle made at the 41. That's first down yardage. And the why not goes in motion. Quick throw. That's an RPO caught on the left side. Refusing to be brought down before gaining first down yardage. The dogs come to the line to set a fresh set of downs. Here comes a throw from the red zone. The pass rush closing in. And the junior gets home making a sack there. This big guy's up front will have to regroup now. It's second and 14. Ball handed off. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, they run it right into a blitz. And that linebacker was coming downhill curve. Man, what a time to call that blitz here by the defensive coordinator. And you're right, he shoots right through that A-gap. Really, the back end, nowhere to go. By the time he got the ball in his hands, the linebacker's right in his face. So on fourth down, the decision is to try out the field goal team. This will be a 39-yard attempt. No problem. Knocks it right through. Oh, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. They'll return it from inside the five. Man is brought down after a solid effort on that return. And the Nittany Lions offense retakes the field. They were clicking last time. Great protection. The pitch and catch was solid. Right down for a touchdown. Breaks loose at the 40. Brought down, but he's past the line of the game. So the offense with the first and 10 now. The football placed exactly at midfield. To throw. It's Allen. Looking for the wide out. Makes the catch downfield. That's a big play. Moves the ball down inside the 30. Offense will set up on first and ten. He'll hand it off. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what is an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well do you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Drops back, needing a third down completion here. And the pass is intercepted. A takeaway for the defense. Not much on the return, but they snuff out the drive with the takeaway. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Looking out, throwing here to start the drive. Makes a quick catch. Well, the defense didn't have any time at all to get pressure on the quarterback. He gets the ball out of his hands pretty quickly on the hitch to the receiver. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Caught near the sticks. It's Bell. And the game just good enough for a first down. A new set of downs after that completion. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. Caught quickly. He's found some room at the 45. Tackle is finally made, but it's a huge game all the way to the 48-yard line. The offense operating at peak efficiency. They come to the line again. Off the play fake, looking to throw. And they hit him just as he releases the ball. It's incomplete. Second down after that previous play. Looking to throw yet again. Let's it go. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. 
The offense will take their first 10 out of the half. The talk strategy here. Pass complete for a first down. The offense gets a fresh set of downs. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun. Makes the grab. Can he get there? Tackle at the five-yard line. Now it's first and goal right there. The dogs will line up now. It's first and goal. Takes the handoff. Looking to throw. Looking to the end zone. And it's picked off in the end zone. And he's wrapped up after a solid return. When you get this close to the end zone, you've got to be able to come away with points. At the very least, a field goal. They've got to be scratching their heads and hoping that in the second half, this play right here doesn't come back to bite them. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. Looking downfield, it's Aller. He's a wide open receiver, complete. And the timeout is called. It's like strategy. Close game here as we approach halftime. First down here for this offense. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Grab down the middle. It's Wallace. Breaks a tackle on the play. Makes a decent game. Offense stops the clock with their second timeout to talk strategy. So the offense takes the field in the final seconds of a half. Chance for just a couple more plays. Looking to pass here on second down. From the pocket, delivers over the middle. So a timeout is called. Just a few seconds left here in the first half. And the Nippy Lions will line up on first and ten. Going for a big play downfield. And it's incomplete with just one second remaining on the clock. Looks like the final play of the half coming up. QB tries it again here on second and ten. They pressure him and get him. Couldn't get a throw away. And that'll be the final play of the first half. Meta's going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. Guys, one of the best atmospheres in football, and we've got a fun one from Happy Valley. And it's been said football is a game of inches, and guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. And the Penn State offense is back out on the field. Back goes in motion now. Let's see how the defense adjusts. Pass complete on the crosser. First down, they'll keep the drive going to the 37. A new set of downs after that completion. And they'll use the ground game here. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. Scanning the field. It's Aller. It's an out route. The catch made. And he's out of bounds after gaining a decent yardage. They come to the line. A long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Fires it to the wide out. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. Tackle across midfield at the 48. Good enough for a first down. The Nittany Lions offense is on the move now. On first and ten, look at the throw. Fires it to the wide out. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. Offense facing a second and ten. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. That's a big game. The offense is threatening that spot. The ball at the 22. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Handoff here from the shotgun. They get him down, but that's a solid game. Just love watching this back run. Gets behind that offensive line, lowers his pads, and it's a nice solid game. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Escapes the pocket but cannot make a play, and they sack him. The offense eager to keep this drive going. They're facing a third and long from the 20 now. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. Receiver makes the grab. 
tackle is made, but the game sets the offense up. First and goal from the nine. Mitty Lions line up with a first and goal. The quarterback adjusting now to the defense. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Coming up, second down and goal. Quarterback drops back. Stop right there at the line. No game. Boy, the defense does a good job of pressuring the quarterback. And really impressed with the quarterback's effort. Not only is he pulled out of that, but he's able to get back close to the line of scrimmage. Touchdown, Penn State. And they go in front here in the second half. Kirk, they were backed up to start the drive, but some bold play calling, great execution, and reach the end zone. You know, it's easy to just kind of pull your horns in and get conservative when you're pushed way back close to your own goal line, but not this offense. They came out, showed the confidence that they have in their quarterback, and it paid off. Nice touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Extra point makes the lead four. Now they get set to kick it away. So no return here. He takes a knee in the end zone, and they'll begin the drive at the 25. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. That costly red zone interception the last time out. Let's see if they can recover from that error. Caught behind the line. It's Robinson. And he'll run out of bounds after picking up a few yards on the play. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. Takes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Let's it go quickly. He pulls it in for a big game. Tackle is made very near midfield. Good enough for a first down. A new set of downs after that completion. Grab behind the line. It's Bell. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Georgia setting up for the first and ten now. Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss in one. Second down play coming up for this offense. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. Catch hauled in here over the middle. He stopped with the 22. This offense in great scoring position now. First and 10 now for the offense. Oh, it's a reverse. Great move in the open field. And he's run out after a big game. The offense will be set up with a first down and goal. And here comes the noise. This crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop. From the shotgun, drops back looking for an open man. Caught in the backfield, it's Robinson. But the play loses yardage. Very tough second down coming up now. And the crowd really making some noise now, trying to help out this defense to get this stop near the goal line. Second down, we're going to throw it. And he can't escape. It's a sack for the defense. There we go. The defense is able to finally get some pressure on this guy. That's one way to slow him down. He has had one heck of a drive, but this time, give the defense some credit for getting after him. And Kirk, it's Penn State on top as we break for the quarter. We've reached the end of three. Time is running out to cut into the lead. Let's take a look at the game sets before we move on. One quarter to go. Let's see if this sets up as a classic finish. Great job of the defense so far. It's third and goal from a long way out. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Caught near the goal line. He's swarmed by the defense. Well, Chris, it's crunch time here. That third down did not work out. It sets up a big-time fourth down late in the game. What will be the call here to get the ball into the end zone? And the quarterback keeps it on the option. Touchdown, Georgia. And they take the lead in the fourth quarter. Ah, you just 
just love to see this when the game is on the line. This offensive line does a great job of executing up front, giving this back just enough room to be able to get into the end zone and give them the lead. The kick is good. A three-point game now in the fourth quarter. It's all up to the defense. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. And the Penn State offense comes back on the field. The last possession was a passing game clinic. They moved it right down for a touchdown. And they, here's the throw deep downfield. And that ball is incomplete. An aggressive deep shot on first down. Here's the second down play. Back to throw. It's Allen. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. It's a nice game. They move the football up to the 27. We'll see if the defense stays in zone after that big play. If they can change things up on this drive and get a little bit more aggressive. And the freshman brings him down quickly. Chris, overall, it's been a tough day for this offense, but especially for this running back, just not able to find any kind of traction at all. And it's made this offense somewhat one-dimensional and a large reason they're trailing in the fourth quarter. Grab behind the line. It's Singleton. And a quick spin move there before he's dropped. Decent pickup on the play. Well, the running back that time just kind of sneaks out of the backfield and shows his hands on that nice catch. Direct snap to the back. They make the stop just short of the marker. It's going to be fourth down and inches to go. And the Nittany Lions will look to convert here on fourth down. And the quarterback's going to sneak it. Offense operating from the pistol. And now the handoff. Spins away from defenders. Hat on a hat up front. Good job of opening up the holes. Anytime you can get positive yards on first down, that's a win. Second down after that run on the previous play. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Caught near the sticks. It's Wallace. They get him down, but he crosses midfield. Spot the ball to 34. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route with him. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. Getting set. Here's second down. Dropping back. It's Aller. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Tackle made after the completion. A well, fourth quarter down by a couple of scores. This offense doing everything they can to not just score points, but do it in a hurry, try to preserve the clock. Here, they're tackled in bounds. They don't pick up a first down. Good job with this defense to keep that. Breaks into the clear. It's a sprint. Touchdown, Nittany Lions. They jump in front here in the fourth. I think the quarterback does a great job of looking through all of his progressions. Nobody's there. He finds the back out of the backfield. Nobody picks him up. He's able to catch the ball and then find his way into the end zone. Man, and with that completion right there, this quarterback now has gone over 300 yards in this game. What a day. DT up and good. The lead is four in the final quarter. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. And it's fielded. Returner trying to create a big play here. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. Pre-snap motion from the offense. He's looking deep here. Oh, nice play by the defender. Got a hand in there to break up the pass. Important second down play coming up. Off play action. He's looking to throw. Let's it fly out of the wideout. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. 
penalty. Brings up third down. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Quick throw to his receiver. And he's got it. To get him down, but that's a nice play. Moves the ball to the 33. Georgia getting set with a first and 10 now. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. A solid eight-yard gain brings up a second and two. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think they're going to run, maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. It's incomplete. That was caused by the defensive pressure. And now it brings up third down. They'll run the option. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. The Dodge will have to kick this away. And finally, we have a punt, the first of the game for either team. And the return brought down by the coverage team. And the Nittany Lions offense retakes the field. One more first down should do it, but remember, the defense has all three timeouts remaining. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Boy, we got a smart offensive coordinator on our hands today, Chris. Great job of just keep feeding this running back, keep it on the ground, working with the lead in the fourth quarter, force them to use all their timeouts, and just keep working that clock. Second and long, but you figure they'll run the ball here to work the clock. Looking to pass, it's Allen running out of time in the pocket. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Well, another sack. You know, as the offensive coordinator, you're ahead in this game. Maybe you should change the game plan to help your quarterback a bit. This pass rush has gotten home way too many times, and you should focus more on preserving the lead. And looking for a big play here. Caught way downfield for a huge game. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here, trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. The offense really clicking here. Hand off to the back. They'll keep the clock moving. And they tackle him, but a nice pickup on that running play. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. Looking for a gap. It's Allen. The Nittany Lions pick up enough for a first down here. Look, I realize in any play call when it's properly executed, it can go to the house for a touchdown. But the runs that really make a game plan work are the ones where you get just what you need. And he barely got the first down, but he got it. So a good W here. Their season is up and running. The goal was to be 1-0, but also, Kirk, we got a chance to see what they're capable of when they play their best. I completely agree with you, Chris. I was definitely...